2001. The scam was carried out by Jose Alves dos Reis, a Portuguese man who printed and circulated fake bank notes. 2. He successfully deceived several banks and wealthy individuals into accepting the counterfeit notes as genuine. 3. He made millions of dollars as a result of the scam. 4. The scam was eventually uncovered and Alves dos Reis was arrested and sentenced to prison. 5. The exact amount of money that was made and the people who were affected by the scam are not well documented. 6. The Alves dos Reis scam is an example of the dangers of counterfeiting and the importance of being cautious and informed when dealing with financial transactions. 7. The scam serves as a reminder that scams and frauds can be carried out by seemingly trustworthy individuals and that it's important to be vigilant when dealing with large sums of money. The fake bank notes were reportedly of high quality and were difficult to distinguish from genuine currency. 9. Alves Dos Reis used his ill-gotten gains to live a luxurious lifestyle and to invest in legitimate businesses. 10. The scam created economic instability in Portugal, as people lost confidence in the nation's currency and banking system. 11. The Portuguese government had to take measures to restore confidence in the country's financial system, including recalling and destroying the fake bank notes. 12. The scam is still remembered in Portugal as one of the largest and most audacious frauds in the country's history.